All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Daniela coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba Hashem, Racha Hakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful, elect brothers and sisters that believe in this truth and that fear in the names of Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And, um,. I'm just, you know, through the spirit, want to do a quick video on, um, hey man, you have Jake scattered. We're, we're scattered. We're everywhere, man. We look like the other nations and we speak the language of the other nations and we've been, you know, worshiping the gods of the other nations. And, you know, just recently, uh, uh, me and the brothers was at a, uh, you know, went out to eat or whatever but we were at a restaurant uh where there is a the restaurant specializes in uh so-called you know indian pizza right so it's a mix between pizza and indian uh spices which was extremely you know delicious um but while we were there, which I've been there a couple times, you know, because uh, I do deliveries, or whatever. The uh, the people there, they're actually um, Punjabi, right? So they're from the state of Punjab in India, which you know, the old apostle Tahar mentions that a lot of the uh, Punjabis or the yeah the Punjab people are Israelites, and um, hey, that's evidently so, um, because hey, like. You can't you can't fake Jake. Now what I have here on the screen, it's a music video by uh, uh, a couple of um, Punjabi um, rappers, man, hip hop artists, singers, right? You know, and hey, man, I believe through the spirit that these are these are Jakes. Now I'm gonna leave a, 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 you know, this video right here, in the description, and brothers can you know, <laughs> leave on the comment board whether they, whether you think they Jake or not. But hey, when you watch, you'll 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 see. I'm not gonna play the video because of the uh, the copyright stuff, but when you watch it, you'll see, even though they're speaking in Punjabi, speaking in another language. They have the same mannerisms as Jake. Of course, obviously by the video, they probably talking about the same thing that Jake be talking about, man. Right? The beat is is that of what our people makes, okay? When it comes to hip-hop and rap, right? And even in their language, they're on, you know, they're on, <laughs> they, uh, hey, man, they sound, hey, they sound dope for real. But, um, one of these guys here, his name is, uh, and I'm going to grab a precept in a second. His name is um, uh, Sidhu Musewala, right? Which is, you know, one of the, uh, the Punjabi uh, rap artists who, who's uh, very, very famous. Very famous. Let's see if we can find some stuff on him. But, um... Real quick, let's grab a precept and, and then we're going to look up some stuff. But let's grab a precept here because, which I already have it pulled up. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 64. Now, because of our disobedience against the Most High and the consequences that the curses, what is that? The curses, um, the Lord scattered us amongst all people, and he destroyed us as a nation. So here it is, we're amongst all these people, and we think that we are those people, man. But our characteristics, our, our spirit, our vibration demonstrate that we are separate, we're separate and different from the rest of the nations around us, man. You know? Uh, it's this is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. It says, And the Lord Yahweh 
by Hashem Yahweh shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other, and there shall and there thou shalt serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wooden stone. So you got Jake who were scattered into India. Okay? Which the the so called East Indians are the modern day uh Elamites, man. Okay? So you got Jake scattered amongst Elam. Okay? And when you watch these different uh rap videos of these, you know, Elamite looking Jakes, hey man, they 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 flow just like Jake, man. Even though it's in a different language. Even though he got a Elamite turban on top of his head, man. Talking about the same things. I bet Jake, Jake, you know Jake, man. Jake talk like like uh, uh, women drinking, partying, okay, and, and bullshit. And that's what Jake like, you know. So even um, you know, serving these other gods. So you got Jake that is serving uh, uh, uh um worshiping uh Hindu deities, okay. Or, or 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 um Punjabi deities because they, they they have a different uh uh religion uh in Punjabi you know you know I asked the guy at the restaurant you know <clears throat> so uh now that we got that our people are scattered we're everywhere we're speaking all languages okay we're amongst all people this is why the Lord has the spirit on particular brothers to speak other languages, okay, so that they can reach the elect that might not might understand that may that may only speak that language, man. Okay, whatever language may be, you know, French, Spanish, Punjabi, <laughs> Hindi, right? Uh, Korean, Japanese, man. Brothers, brothers uh, uh, have that. That's a spiritual gift. So. With that being said, let's look up some of this stuff on this guy, uh, Siddu, as they pronounce it, Siddu, right? Siddu Mus Musewala, they say he's an Indian singer, So this is on Wikipedia. Uh, so his name is uh, Shandeep Singh Sidhu. Sidhu. <coughs> it says, uh, better known by the stage name, Sid Sidhu Musiwala is an Indian singer, lyricist, rapper, and actor associated with Punjabi music and Punjabi cinema. Now, I don't know if... Uh, Brothers have actually um, watched Punjabi. You know, certain brothers might have, or listen to Punjabi music. When you when you look at it, it's a pretty it's a pretty lively music, man. You know, Punjabi, uh, Punjabi music and dance is pretty lively, right? So here it is. This guy he took he took the Punjabi music to another level. Now you got rap beats with um, which Punjabi is the language of the Punjab. Okay, the so-called Punjab people, right? But now you got rap beats, right? Uh, trap beats is, you know, this is all the beats that Jake make and they just put their, you know, they they uh, rhyme on time with in their, in that Punjabi language, you know? It says, um, started his career with writing the lyrics of, of, the song license sung by Ninja and being his singer and began his singing career on a duo song titled G Wagon. Right? Following his debut, he collaborated with Brown Boys and various tracks were 
which were released by Humble Music. Right? And he looked like a straight up Elamite, man. But this is a Jake. Look at the genres of music, right? Hip hop, that's Jake. Gangster rap, that's Jake. Punjabi, you know, still Jake. Uh, R&B, that's Jake, right? So he, he, you know, he said he he started in two thousand and sixteen. So you know he's basically blown up. You know, it says he gained wide attention with his tracks so high. In fall two thousand eighteen, he released his debut album, uh, P P B X One, which peaked in sixty. In the, at 60, 66 on the Billboard of Canadian Albums chart. It says, following the album, he started releasing his songs independently. Also, his single, 47, was ranked on UK Singles chart. So, you know, he's he's up there, you know. He, he's up there. Um, uh, In 2020, Sidhu was named by... The Guardian, among the 50 new artists, 10 of his songs were peaked on UK Asian chart. Two which have top, which have topped the chart. His uh, Bambiha Bol- Bole uh, entered the top five on global YouTube music chart. So this is Jake, man. When it comes to music, entertainment, sports athletics really basically everything man jake excels in it they got that 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 uh that uh uh, uh that godlike uh spirit man that creative spirit that innovative spirit that yahweh bashmi awashai has given our people man right and even amongst these nations you know through the spirit we we see it but you you can you can see Jake's spirit, man. They they can't really hide, man. The mother nations are, will uh, figure, hey, man, these people are different from us. Or well, this guy is weird. We're weird to them. And you niggas is weird to us. Right? I'm talking about you other nations. So, you know, just got a little bit on that. Now, let's get some more precepts. Because, hey, the scriptures say that he's going to he's going to gather his elect the remnant of Israel, the outcasts of Israel, okay, from all the different, uh, all these different nations, man, okay, and the Lord has it set up to where all these nations are being preached unto in all these different languages, man, so let me get um, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11, it says, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. The elect. The elect are the remnant. Okay? Those are going to be the people remaining after destruction. Okay? It says, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush. So all these different lands where these people, where these, gent, you know, uh, heathen, these other nations dwell, you have Israelites scattered there among them. And more importantly, you had the elect there. Okay. It says, um, and from Cush and from Elam, all the places where you have, you know, the so-called Indians. And I believe what the, the so-called Persians. OK. <clears throat> OK. You have Jake scattered amongst them. Right. So, you know, <laughs> speaking as a man, I believe Siddu. OK. And brothers can can watch and and, and leave on the comment board what you think. I believe Siddu Musay Walla. OK. Is a Jake. And there's also. Uh, when you watch that video, you got other, um, I haven't really checked them out, but you got other, um, other, uh, uh, artists in there 
rapping and singing, right? Speaking Punjabi, man. You know, and I believe they Jake too, man. You know? So, um, it says, from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And he shall set an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So there you go. The Lord is going to gather his, his elect back together, no matter where they are. Which proves what? That we're scattered everywhere. Okay? You're not going to have every Israelite uh, having, having the typical Israelite features, man. Okay? That, that typical Latino features, the typical so-called black man features, man. You're going to have Israelites that look like these other nations too, man. And speak in their language. All right, let's get another precept. Just to prove that even in the ancient world, you had Israelites that were born amongst the other nations. And they were speaking these other languages. Right? And the same thing in this time, the Lord put the Spirit on particular brothers to speak those languages okay to draw out the elect let's get it this is um we're going to go to acts chapter 2 Right, and our uh, verse, uh, we can start at verse 1. It says, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one, they, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and filled all the house where they were sitting and and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the holy spirit and began to speak with other tongues now other tongues means what other languages as the spirit gave them utterances so these are languages they haven't previously learned okay and the Lord's going to turn that, hey, even in this time, hey, the Lord's going to turn that power up even in this time, man. Okay. You know, don't be surprised if, if one, if, you know, and brothers have had certain visions. Don't be surprised if one, one uh, morning you wake up and you could speak, <laughs> you could speak all the languages, man. Or you could speak languages that you have not previously learned fluently with perfect understanding. Know the writing system and everything. Okay? Unto the drawing in of the elect. Okay? The Lord has the power to do that, man. Through the Holy Spirit. It says, And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Hey, that's just like who? Cornelius. He was a devout man. OK, he was an Israelite. It says now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Right. So the language where which they grew up speaking in the lands that they were in, of course, you know, outside of Hebrew which is really their true language, okay? They heard them speaking that language, man. They were prophesying in that language. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we have wherein we were born? You know? It says Parth, Parth, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea 
in Cappadocia, in Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia, uh, Pamph Pamphylia, uh, Egypt, and in parts of Libya, about uh, Crean, and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of the Most High, right? So, hey, there's gonna be it's gonna be certain, you know, brothers that are gonna look like, you know, the, you know, these Elamites, man, or these Arabs, okay? Certain brothers are gonna look like them, talk like them, but they ain't gonna walk like them. They're gonna walk like Jake, right? <laughs> right? So, um, let's go here because when you watch that video, you can see, um, oh, wait, we're going to go here. This is Tobit chapter 13 and verse, uh, verse one. We'll start at verse one, point is in three. It says, then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing saying, bless be the most high that liveth forever and blessed be his kingdom for he doth scourge and have mercy he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again and part of us our hell is being scattered man not knowing who we were but now the knowledge of who we are is coming back out through the holy spirit the lord is returning unto us uh, uh the remembrance of us and him right our relationship between our people and the Most High, okay? And His law, statutes, and commandments, and His prophecies, His word. It says, um, it says, I leadeth down to hell, okay? Part of that is being scattered and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can avoid His hand. So then you can't, you can't avoid the will of the Most High. Who, like the scriptures say in Romans uh, chapter 9, who, who, who has resisted his will? Right? It says, confess him before the Gentiles, the other nations. That's what that's talking about in this case. Ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. Right? So we confess Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, his word, his prophecies, what he's all about, what's going to happen to the other nations. Right? To draw out the elect because we have the elect among these other nations, right? And also to condemn those other nations, man. Right? But in this case, it's because we have people among them. Israelites who are among them. All right? The outcast, the Israelites, foreigners, man. All right? So, you know, like I was mentioning before, when you watch, when you watch, you know, that video, hey, you can watch other of his videos. You can see the flavor, man. Our people are people of flavor, man. Spice. Right? Um, It says, um, Matthews 5 and 13. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its saber, wherewith shall it be salted? If it, if it is thenceforth good, it is thenceforth good for nothing. But to be cast out, to be trodden under foot of men, right? So, the the salt of the earth, man. Now, the true salt is wisdom, man. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, which the Lord gave us, you know, uh, uh, by way of his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right? And then also, hey, the Lord made us a great people, man. We excel in everything, like I was saying before. Like the scriptures say, the righteous is more excellent than his neighbor, man. You know? Jake got the salt. Jake got the flavor, man. Everybody wants to follow uh, what Jake wears. How how Jake, you know, drives his car. How he uh, 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 rocks his shoes. You know, rocks his clothing, man. And, and that's evident in these Israelite foreigners, man. These 
these uh, Israelites that are scattering these other nations, man. Those ones that, that you know, got the supreme dancing ability or supreme singing ability, right? Which is real, you know, proof that, you know, is the Israelite because we do these things well. Supreme athletic ability, man. Right? So that's that's on the uh that's on a lower level with the with the salt, man. But the true salt is this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right? And hey, these uh in the kingdom, these nations are gonna be coming unto us to, to, to try to get a little bit of that salt, man. Okay? For to to get some spice in their life, man. That knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Cause they're gonna see how how extravagant, how beautiful, how orderly, how peaceful our kingdom is, you know, uh, uh, once the Most High establish it. So, you know, this is just a quick video, man. Hey, you got Israel scattered into these other nations looking like these nations, man. And uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom.